Okay, so what I want to talk about is uh, the application of endoscopic through the scope clips, particularly in the context of non varicel peptic ulcer GI bleeds, and specifically when and how to apply a clip. <clears throat> Firstly, let's remind ourselves of the forest classification and its relevance. This diagram was published in Frontline Gastroenterology from an article published by my colleagues, Dr. Uh, Dered al Zabedi et al., um, uh, which reminds us of the classification system and in particular the risk these lesions have in regard to their mortality and their re-bleeding rates. What it essentially says is that ulcers with a spurt in vessel, forest 1A, ulcers with oozing vessels, forest 1B, and those with non-bleeding visible vessels, forest 2A, should receive endoscopic therapy in order to minimise the risk of re-bleeding and mortality. I'm going to discuss forest 2B, lesions with adherent clot later on, and to whether we should apply endoscopic therapy in these cases. Now, when dealing with these lesions, we know that we're going to give dual therapy, but the order we apply this therapy is of importance. Ideally, you want to apply the mechanical therapy first, before applying the uh, uh, adrenaline injection, which is dilute one in 10,000 adrenaline. The reason you want to do this is you're optimising the mechanical force of the clip by not introducing a fluid layer prior to its closure. So I, if you introduce adrenaline first, you're putting a fluid layer in there which could potentially decrease the mechanical force of the clip. The technique for applying a clip is also important in order to ensure its accuracy and effectiveness. The video I'm showing here is actually the closure of a poem. But because there's no blood present, it allows us to appreciate the technique in it, um, more easily. So in the video, I have a, a cap on, which is something I often use in the context of GI bleeds, as actually it improves our visibility and our ability to apply therapy effectively. Now you can see what we do is we get the clip out, we then uh, get it in the correct orientation to which we want it, and then pull the clip back to the edge of our cap or the edge of our scope. We then use the scope itself to direct the clip. So we don't use the, the wheels on the scope and we don't try and um, push this clip out and, and, and try and apply the clip from a distance. So what we do is we bring the clip to the edge of the scope and then move the scope to where we want to apply the clip. We then push the scope forward onto the vis vessel in, the, in this case or onto the area. And then once we've got the clip in the right place, you can then push the clip out a bit whilst closing in order to apply more pressure. Essentially what this allows us is to make sure we get the optimal position of the of this clip in itself. Once we've successfully applied the clips, I would then inject adrenaline. The only times I inject adrenaline before applying the mechanical clip is if in the context of a really brisk bleed in which my visibility is limited and I need to actually slow things down in order for me to see what I'm doing. In this case, I would apply uh, inject adrenaline first. The only other time I inject adrenaline first is in forest 2B lesions. These lesions do need to have, receive endoscopic therapy, but obviously it depends on whether you are confident to deal with these lesions. What I would certainly do is inject adrenaline liberally into the area, and then once I've done that, uh, remove the clot using various techniques that we can discuss another time, and ensure that I'm prepared to deal with a brisk bleed should that happen. 